Good evening, everybody. The first major institution among IITs, NITs, and BITs, and also IIITs, to go for counseling is BITs. So I find two kinds of reactions from students. Those of those are the students who've got some chance of getting into BITs. Two kinds of reactions broadly. One is extreme indifference because uh, the uh, JE main last attempt is still there. And of course, JE advanced is on October 3rd. So they are more focused on that and for right reasons. So one is that, you know, total indifference. So they're not taking this very seriously. The second is that a lot of students, the, some section of the students are spending a lot of time in terms of, you know, brand choice, uh, campus choice, this question, that question, what happens if I don't get this, what happens if I get that, and these kind of uh, details they're getting into. So both extremes, I would say, avoid. Uh, the first set of students who are indifferent, let me tell you that BITS is a good institution uh, among IITs and IITs and BITS. BITS is somewhere there. It has got lots of positives going for it because it is privately managed it's managed better. It is very student friendly. Uh, the faculty strength is good, good quality faculty you've got. They're more student responsive as opposed to the government institutions. They're more student responsive. Um, also, the placements are very good at par with uh, some of the uh, top IITs. Then they've got a fantastic alumni network. So you find them all over the globe. Uh, you find and one thing I found about the BITS alumni is that they're very supportive of each other. They're very, very attached to each other. And uh, you can seek a lot of help in your future. Um, whenever, whatever kind of help you want, the alumni network will support. So that support is there. Then, of course, the BITS brand recognition. And the most important thing that I find going for them is the practice school concept. That is the internship program that they have, the compulsory internship program where the institution makes an attempt to see that you get some kind of internship uh, or the other. Uh, and the six month practice school in your final year. And most of those internships or the practice school would get translated into pre-placement offers because six months is quite a bit of time as opposed to that at IITs and NITs you just have got the two or three months internship. So uh, you should be taking uh, the BITS counseling process seriously unless of course you are one of those candidates who's damn sure of getting into IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, uh, top branches. Uh, if you don't fall in that category, you should be taking the uh, BITS counseling seriously. So today I'm not getting into the mechanics of the counseling process because uh, I'm sure all of you have read uh, those things, you know what to do, how to fill up and all that. I don't want to get into those things. What I would like to do is uh, how are you going to select this branch and um, campus? So these are the two choices that you've got to make among the three campuses that is the uh, Pilani campus, Goa campus, and Hyderabad campus, which campus? And second is the branch, all right? So these are the two things I will be majorly addressing now. Now this year, we have a very peculiar situation. Uh, why I'm talking about this is that uh, if you look at the cutoffs last year, and which is what I'm going to spare, uh, show you now, cutoffs are indicative, but because of the peculiar situation this year, the cutoffs may not actually give you proper guidance. Now, what is the peculiar situation this year? Every year, BITS counseling goes in parallel with the JOSA counseling. Now, those of you who don't know, JOSA counseling is the common counseling for IITs and NITs. So almost it goes in parallel. So last year, for example, uh, the JOSA counseling took place from October 6th to November 8th. And the BITSAT counseling was from October 1st to November 3rd. So more or less, they were going in parallel. So those are the students 
who get into top IITs, who get better brand choices in NITs and IITs, get on with, uh, opt for those things and leaving these seats here. So some other student, deserving student, uh, who's not done that well in JE main or JE advanced would move forward. So this year, what is going to happen is the first uh, iteration, the result is going to come on August 26th. All right. So very early. By the time your JE main uh, final round is not over, JE advanced is uh, a month away. Also, this year, the classwork is going to start on October 1st in BITSAT. Your iteration 5 is on September 29th and the iteration uh, 6 is on October 6, 2021, by which time the JOSA counseling will not even start. So this problem you are going to face this year. So there will be a lot of students who would stick on to their seats in uh, BITS. Uh, they may not leave it because the JOSA counseling has not taken off. Unless they are very sure of their performance in JE Advance, they will latch on to their seats in bits. So this is uh, important. This is a fresh, uh, I would say, complication only this year. So what I would suggest is that while you are looking at the cutoffs uh, of last year and previous years, you have to be very careful that this year's results will not play along the cutoffs. The cutoffs will give you the branch choice, branch preference order of most students, but the cutoffs may be different because those guys who are likely to get into IITs, NITs, and the top triple ITs will still be in the BITS counseling, will still take part in the BITS counseling, and will not let go of the seats. They will latch on to their seats in most cases unless they are you know, very damn sure of their performance in JE Advanced. Having said that, let us quickly look at the uh, last year's, uh, previous year's cutoffs. Now, there was there is a video that I made on previous year's cutoffs, which I will share in the description box today. So I will not get into the details of the cutoffs of each of those branches. But broadly, if you look at the uh, bits, Branch choices, you've got two kinds of programs. One is the four-year, uh, the BE program and the five-year dual degree program. So in the four-year dual degree program, in, in the, in the four-year BE program, you will obviously see the top preference for computer science. And uh, for all the right reasons, because the top placements, the top pay packages are in computer science. So unless you have a very, very specific preference for some branch because of your interest, because you know something about the branch and you want to do, you want to go for that branch. I think if you do not have such kind of branch uh, preferences, computer science with your eyes closed, you should be preferring computer science. So, and in computer uh, and among the campuses, obviously Pilani is the oldest and the best. Next older one is Goa and next is Hyderabad. But having said that, uh, I would also uh, like to comment on this fact that Hyderabad, those of you who belong to, say, Telangana or Andhra Pradesh state, the locational advantage of being in Hyderabad, because, you know, in the first one year, those of you who do not have a hostile experience may have this homesick feeling. Uh, and I see that playing among several of my students, uh, that advantage you will be there. Suppose you belong to these two states, staying in Hyderabad, maybe if you are those sensitive kids and you would like to stay closer to home, then perhaps uh, between Goa and Hyderabad, Hyderabad may be a better choice because if you're comfortable in the campus, then you'll performance, you, you will perform better. Remember, your placements are going to depend on your performance in this four years, what you do and what you don't do. If you get Pilani, obviously this discussion uh, we don't have to get into this discussion, but between Goa and Hyderabad, if you belong to these two states, and if you are one of those sensitive kids, you would, um, you, you've not stayed in a hostel so far, you would like to have that comfort, that emotional attachment, maybe for that reason, you can look at Hyderabad a little closely. But otherwise, I would say go with Goa, 
and then Hyderabad. So Pilani, Goa and Hyderabad, the order of campuses. And in terms of branches, number one is computer science. Uh, if you do not have any specific preference because of your interest, because of your past background, you have some knowledge, somebody in your family is already in that branch, you know a lot about that branch, you want to do that for spe some specific reason. Barring that, you should be looking at computer science because as I already mentioned, the top packages, uh, the top companies, and most of the recruitment is in the IT sector. Okay, so if you look at last year's uh, uh, cutoff, uh, for computer science, it was 372. There was a drop last year, as I mentioned in my previous video. Uh, but again, uh, the rider that I've told you that this year it's a peculiar situation that the JOSA counseling has not started, will not start uh, till I think towards the end of October, by which time the BITSAT counseling will be over. So these Cutoffs may be skewed a little bit. Therefore, you should consider these cutoffs, but you should be prepared that this time the cutoffs may be, especially the initial rounds, may be a little higher. Also, for that reason, you should give a lot more options because you can give as many options that as you want. So if you want to be safe, you want to get into some branch in bits, in bits please give as many options as you want. So among the uh, four-year courses, obviously, first is computer science. Second, normal times, it is electrical. However, this year, you're going to have ECE also in Pilani campus. ECE is there in Goa campus and Hyderabad campus. This time in Pilani, ECE is getting introduced. So obviously, the second preference will go to ECE. And then you have electrical. And then you have elect uh, electrical and instrumentation. That is that is the order. Among the five-year courses, now a word about the five-year course. The five-year course is, uh, it will lead to a dual degree. So you would be doing one particular, you would be getting into say, for example, MSc Economics or MSc Mathematics or MSc Physics or MSc Chemistry. So in the first year, um, they would be looking at your performance and uh, the CGPA that you get, that is the grade point, cumulative grade point average that you get at the end of the first year, on that basis, a branch would be allocated. So the suspense regarding the branch will continue till the end of the year. Having said that, let me also tell you that BITS gives you some kind of flexibility in terms of choices of your courses. So you can still, whatever be your uh, MSA, you can still end up taking a few uh, computer IT courses and still go for IT placements and I know of students who have taken say MSc chemistry and landed up in Microsoft. So this kind of flexibility is available in bits and that is one of the reasons why bits people choose bits. Okay, so the kind of flexibility that you get in bits you don't get uh, in say the IITs, most of the IITs, the newer IITs are giving some uh, choices and uh, and definitely not in the NITs. Okay, so that is one thing that you have to keep in mind. So the five among the five-year programs, the choice is the preference order is economics first. Uh, I think the cutoffs will also bear what I'm what I'm trying to tell you. Three, not four. Then maths, then physics, then chemistry. So that is how it would be MSc chemistry. So normally the order is economics, maths, physics chemistry. So this is what you have to keep in mind as far as branch choices are concerned. As I told you again, unless you have very, very specified preference for some branch because of your interest, you should be going by the branch choices, the branch preference order as given in the cutoffs. And this is what is normally reflective of the order by which most students would go. So let us look at the uh, Goa cutoffs. So the Goa cutoffs are given here. Um, and again, you, you start with CSE 347 last year, and then uh, you have electronics in Goa 320 and uh, electrical and uh, electrical electronics 306, etc. etc. Among the five year courses, 
again, uh, 290 MSc economics is preferred first. And then uh, in this particular case, you have maths getting more preference, uh, less preference than physics. So, but normally I would suggest that uh, MSc maths is preferable to physics. Okay, then let's look at uh, Hyderabad. Hyderabad, you can see, um, again, here CSE 336 last year, uh, cutoff, and then you have uh, uh, electronics 314 and uh, electrical and electronics 300. Among the five-year courses, MSc Economics 281, then uh, Math is at 257, Physics at 256, and Chemistry is at 240, and that is the order uh, by which you should you should go okay so this is the normally the branch preference order that you should take if there are any specific questions uh, please leave them in the comment box our team will get back to you at the earliest uh, you all know the deadlines august 21st is the uh, date by which you should apply so I don't think you lose anything by applying uh, if you are somewhere near the cutoffs. So if you're getting 250 plus, definitely you should take the chance. Uh, you just have to spend, uh, you spend 1000 rupees for getting in there. Later on, you can decide after your JE main performance, you can decide because uh, fees payment deadline is September 2nd for the first iteration. So by which time your JE mains performance, uh, you will know and then uh, you can take a call. So your first iteration result is going to come on August 26th. So you have a small window available from August 22nd to August 24th for revision of your branch choices. So I would suggest that go ahead, apply now. Uh, it costs only 1000 rupees right now at this stage. Uh, but by September 2nd, you'll have to pay the admission fees. So you got time till September 2nd to decide. So first go ahead and apply and be done with it. Uh, and then you got this correction window 22nd to 20, uh, 26th or uh, 24th, by which time before 24th, you can do some changes in your preference orders. Uh, so my appeal to students is don't be indifferent to it. Spend some time, divide, uh, decide on the branch choices, uh, finish off the counseling, uh, finish off the application process and be done with it and quickly get on with your JE main and JE advanced. I see a lot of students agonizing over this and what if uh, discussing all kinds of what if kind of scenarios, what happens if I do that, get this, what happens if I get 99.5 in my uh, JE main, what happens if I get this kind of a rank in JE advanced, all that is speculation. There is no point in terms of discussing those things. The You just fill this and uh, get on with your JE main and JE advanced. Yeah. Now, one uh, point that I would like to mention at this stage, I mentioned a lot of positives as far as bits is concerned. The only negative with regard to bits is the cost. So your four year program is going to cost you anything from around 25 to 30 lakhs. And uh, your uh, five year program is going to cost you anything between 30 to 35 lakhs. So that is the only negative. But if you can afford that kind of fees, I think it should be among your top choices, unless, of course, you get into a top IIT. OK, so if there are further questions, I would uh, please mention them in the comment section and our team will try to get back to you at the earliest. All the best uh, for your JE main and JE advanced and just finish off your bits application process at the earliest and be done with it. OK.